Hey guys, my name is Kenny. This is my honest review of the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to see if it's worth it or not. I want to start off by saying this is not sponsored in any way. I bought this with my own money. So let's start off with all the features listed on the box. On the front, they list the two main features, and that is skin safe technology and that it's waterproof. Some of the other features listed is that it has high power with low vibration. It's also cordless and rechargeable, and it has an LED light to help you see what you're trimming. Okay, if you've seen their ads, then you've heard of skin safe technology. But there's actually no explanation as to what that is. And when you heard that, you probably assumed that it won't be able to cut you. But when you see all the reviews of people actually using it, they will tell you that it does cut you. Skin safe technology does not mean it's 100% safe against cuts. Right under it, all it says is that it helps protect against manscaping accidents. And if you read the fine print on the back, it says that skin safe technology greatly reduces the risk of nicks and cuts, ingrown hairs and irritation. So what they're basically saying is that this is safer to use than other machines. There's also the sheet that tells you exactly how to use it. First it tells you to charge your trimmer. And then it tells you exactly how to handle it. It tells you that you need to use it like this. Using it like this basically guarantees that you're going to get cut. And it also says slow and steady wins the race. It does come with one guard and it's already attached to the machine. If you take this off and use it like this, you're more likely to get cut. The first time I used this, I took off the guard to see if I could actually get cut or not. And even when I was being careful, this did end up cutting me. When you use any kind of machine on your face, you're less likely to get cut because of how thick the skin is. But when you're trimming down there, you're dealing with loose skin. The skin around your balls is probably the most sensitive because it's so loose. And when it's loose, it moves around a lot easier. We end up getting cut because that loose skin ends up bunching up. So it's not enough to just go across with the machine as slow as you can. For loose skin, you have to spread it apart as far as you can and then trim it slowly. And that will greatly decrease your chances of getting cut. Besides that, I recommend leaving the guard on. After cutting myself once, I really don't feel safe leaving it off. Pretty much any machine that you use without a guard has a better chance of cutting you. I've already trimmed myself a few more times using the guard and I haven't cut myself. But I don't actually use this for everything down there. This works great for trimming the main area where most of the hair grows. And it also works great for chest hair and arm hair. But when it comes to the balls, it doesn't trim it far enough. So now what I do is that I use this for the main area where most of my hair grows. And I stick to a razor for my balls because it gives me that nice close shave. For me, I'm most comfortable using a razor down there and it's pretty fast when I do it. I find that using just this on everything is really time consuming. But when I use this with a razor, I can go pretty quickly without cutting myself. I've always used a razor before, but now adding this does save me more time. As for how loud it is, it's actually pretty quiet. This is in comparison to my other machine. And as for it being waterproof, I haven't had any problems using it in the shower. And this LED light is actually pretty useful. If you have poor lighting in your shower like I do, it'll definitely help you. So now I'm going to go through my pros and cons for this machine. So for the pros, it actually is waterproof and I haven't had any problems. And I like that it's pretty quiet. It doesn't seem to be super powerful, but it does get the job done for what I need it for. And again, another pro is the light. The light was definitely something I didn't think would actually help me. And as for the cons, I'm going to go with the marketing because skin safe technology can be misleading. And because this is not super powerful, you have to go over the same area a few times. And the last con is the price because this can be pretty expensive. So looking at their website, it says they have two options, one listed at $70 and the other one listed as $80. The cheaper option says it comes with the machine as well as the peak hygiene plan. But it doesn't even tell you what the peak hygiene plan actually is. All it says is that they're going to charge you 15 bucks every three months. So what the peak hygiene plan actually is, is that they send you a replacement blade every three months. 
But if you don't want to be charged every three months, that's why they have the $80 option. But to save the 10 bucks, I ended up going with the $70 option and then canceling the peak hygiene plan. All you have to do is order it first and then go into your account and cancel the plan. But if you want the cheapest option for this machine, you can find it on Amazon for $55.99. That's the current price when I checked and that can go up whenever. Again, this is not a cheap machine. You may be able to find something cheaper that's waterproof and gets the job done. This is the machine that I use for my face, but I wanted something that I can use in the shower, so I got this one. If you already have a machine that you use for body hair, then I say stick to that one. Going from one machine to this one isn't really an upgrade. But if you don't have a proper machine for your body hair, then you should consider this. I could return this and get a cheaper option, but I do like all the features about this one. Especially this light. Like I said, it does everything that I needed to do, and it gets the job done. I'm going to leave an Amazon link to this lawnmower 3.0 down below. I'm also going to leave links to other options down below as well. And that is my review of the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. Again, my name is Kenny. Like this video if I helped you out, and subscribe for more videos just like this.